Hey, this is um, Kim Repair with, with Paper Nasium. It's been a while since I did a video. You know, COVID is treating everybody a little differently. Um, or I guess the pandemic. I haven't had COVID, but I've sort of had pandemic brain. So this is um, a project that um, I've been thinking about since the beginning of the year um, and which I finally completed. I have, um, it is a generational pictorial memoir done in um, a junk journal style and as part of um, the Voice of the Red Thread project by Robin McClendon. So, um, and it just kept growing. It started, you know, as a junk journal. <laughs> and then um, what happened, so then um, there's a picture in there of my sister and I with this book. And so I wanted to have the book. And then I needed um, to tell her about uh, give her the link to the YouTube video, which I made an envelope for. And then I decided I needed something to put all this in. Um, and I made this little um, envelope kind of pocket pouch out of fabric that I had. One of the things that was important to me in this um, project is that I really use a lot of the old family photos and um, I got to snip that, obviously, um, use, and use what I had. So I didn't um, buy much or have many um, photographs printed for this, although I did have some. So that's the story behind why all this exists. And um, now what I want to do is I'm going to go through um, the book and, and explain what things are so that um, my sister knows and other family knows and people can see um, how this came together. So on the outside, this is a piece of, um, you know, ribbon and I took the wire out and then it's attached on the back um, just by a piece of ribbon. So uh, the front, this 3G really has to do with three generations because this book is really about um, my mom, my grandmother, who have both passed away, my sister and I, although you'll find that it's really a 5G book. Um, so here is the first picture from my sister and I when we were super young, obviously. And um, that's the first picture because um, it explains why this book is part of the project. Um, so the, the Voice of the Red Thread project, um, I did a little takeoff on it. It's not exactly the way Robin describes it. For me, I used the Red Thread to weave um, this book together um, and the generations together. So um, here's the family tree with, um, you know, our name, the four P, our names on it. And these um, I typed out on the new typewriter that I got for, well, on the old antique typewriter that I got for Christmas. And these are some of Robin's papers. And this is my mom's um, junior year uh, photograph. And that's why it's 61. And this is just a little um, uh, journal card. So, and here's part of the red thread. And this one actually is woven throughout and not stuck in um, in this area. So this is sort of um, bridal central. Um, this is my sister's wedding. Um, you know, my mom and my grandmother. This is some bridal lace. This is my mom at one of my cousin's weddings. This is my first wedding. Um, and then I put my grandmother in here separately because she wasn't um, able to be at my sister's wedding. This is my more recent wedding. 
Um, and there's some information on the back about um, what flowers are in my bouquet and, and why they are there. And here is um, a 4G. This is my mom with her grandmother with her grandmother Shaw um, when she was young. Obviously, it's Easter. And here is a spread of my mom and my grandmother together. Again, I tried to use photographs that I had. So here is my um, grandmother and my mom and my grandmother made into a journal card, a photograph of them. And here is my grandmother with um, the first quilt I ever made. And these are her favorite colors. And my sister getting a fabulous gift that she adored when she was little. Again, a journal card. Um, and this is my mom when she loved her baby pictures. And this is her in her Saks Fifth Avenue $5 bonnet. And um, this is me um, at my aunt's wedding in a dress that my mother made. And again, this is me with a stocking, um, yeah, a Christmas stocking that my grandmother made. And here um, are just some pictures of us. You know, my sister and I when we were young, and my mom and um, my sister at her wedding. And then these are some pictures of my mom. This is one of her favorite pictures um, when she wasn't a teenager. And then this is braided together. This is all um, Robin McClendon printables. And braided together is a reference um, to the Voice of the Red Thread project. And then this um, sea turtle is a patch, and it um, actually um, represents my mom to my sister and I. And then there's just some, you know, places to journal and, and put um, photos that she has. These are photos of my sister and I that, obviously, when we were young again, and they're duplicated. Um, this one folds out. There's some other pictures of us. Um, and then they're duplicated um, as journal cards. So um, here is uh, a spread, um, mostly of me. Um, so I play a lot of tennis. I did when I was young. This is me very recently and on the back um, of my local uh, club. I was at my level the club champion this year, so I put that in there. This is me at um, my grandparents' tennis courts which this is Fox Hill Country Club, um, and that is their tennis club because they had a tennis court in the backyard. And then this is me giving, finishing my first triathlon that I did for my 40th birthday. A nice journaling spot um, or space for, um, you know, pictures that my sister has. This is my grandmother, um, and this opens up into an envelope that has some red threads in there. I don't want to, you don't need to know more about that. Um, and then this is my sister and her kids, um, and my mom and her kids, and this is a 5G, so like the fifth generation. Uh, these are pictures of my sister and I um, at, you know, at Disney. Um, and then this is a picture of me in the same dress because my mom made it for me and then reused it. And here's a picture of my grandmother and my sister at, um, you know, at Disney. And those are journaling cards on the back. This is, uh, we're at my grandmother's house and we're making um, ice cream. And this is my mom. I've cut her out, but she's actually on that same patio. And um, there is a, an old family ice cream recipe, which has been misplaced, um, but here is sort of a representation or something off the internet that's close. And these are, um, this is a pocket. And um, here is, you know, thoughts of, uh, thoughts of home. And these are just some journaling cards and spaces. Here is a description of the, um, voice of the red thread and what that project is. And then this is a picture of my sister and a picture of me. 
And this is a picture of my mom that I found that I just kind of loved it on this. And this is um, some pictures of my mom and my sister and my mom and I holding hands when she was in hospice. And there is somehow a page in here that I did not talk about. Oh, um, so this page is um, a poem about grieving that I found. And this is a picture of my grandmother that I took at um, Atlanta Botanical Gardens and my mom with her grandsons. So the back um, says through the years. So I'm just going to tie it up and say if you made it this far, thank you. Um, and thank you. Um, again, this is Kim um, with <laughs> Papernasium. Thank you.